What are y'all going to do with me? Like, truly, what are y'all going to do with me? I'm so unprofessional. What are y'all going to do with me? But I got a good word, so stick with me. Stick, 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 stick close. Is that good, everybody? Boom shaka laka like a boom. Good morning, everybody. Come on in and share. Share with your followers. I got a really good word for all of you coming in. I'm Real Talk Kim. I'm so excited that you're on here with me. Thank you all last night. We had a great live at nine. Thank you, Francis, for coming in and helping me this morning. My prayer team is on here with me as well. Leave all of your prayer requests. Yes, last night was awesome. So I got on last night to give y'all a whole word, and we ended up talking about relationships. And it was, it really turned out great. So if you did not catch our live broadcast last night, uh, the live at nine, just go to uh, the profile and it's up there and watch it. It is so good. We talked about, last night we talked about uh, mama boys, mama's boys. We talked about, um, man, we talked about everything last night. And I really shot straight from the hip. And I really think I helped some people last night get yourselves all, all together before you lose your spouse. <laughs> Y'all should be listening to me. I got something to say about this, okay? Y'all come on in. Come on in. Today, we're going to start today um, on in Psalms 5-3. I will be, I'm headed right now to the airport as soon as I get off of here. I will be flying into Holtzville, New York. And I will be preaching in Holtzville, New York. Look, there's Kingston. Kingston don't care about y'all this morning. He is asleep. He is not having it this morning. He is a sleeper. He is a preacher's dog. He just goes with the flow. You hear me? So uh, I'll be in Holtzville, New York at Jesus is Lord Church this week at Thursday night at 7 o'clock. It's free. Uh, no tuition. I mean, no, no, no registration needed. We're also feeding y'all pizza. I love going to this church because they always feed you well. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, I'll get to eat with all you afterwards. So it's going to be really fun. Um, so seven o'clock. Okay, so we're going to get into it. Psalms 5-3. Uh, yep, this is my RTK clothing. This is all my RTK stuff. Look at this. Look how cute this is. Look. Cute, 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 ain't it? This is RTK. All of this you can find on my website at realtalkkim.com. You can also get in my, in my mentoring program, the RTK Inner Circle, which will change your life. It will absolutely change your life. I come on Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, and we flow, we talk, we get unstuck. Then every six months you come to Atlanta, whoever can, comes to Atlanta uh, January and June and spend three days with me, two or three days with me. So it's really fun. You got to get you a try. Relationships are so important. So also, also, I pastor Limitless Church right down the street in Fayetteville, Georgia. I'm there every Sunday, 10 and 11.30. And we're in a phenomenal series this month called Paradise Island. If you missed it, go to my YouTube channel. Just go to realtalkkim.com. I mean, yeah, you can go to realtalkkim.com. In fact, if you go to realtalkkim.com, you will find out everything about me. I got a new podcast this week talking about things to not do in a relationship. Uh, it goes up tomorrow morning. I had another podcast drop Sunday. I got so much going on. You can even download my free app, the Real Talk Kim app. Go to your Google Play Store, your Apple Store, and download the Real Talk Kim Go app. And everything about me is right there. And also for you inner circle people, we have a devotion. You sign up. Uh, at the same way you signed up to get in the mentorship program every morning, you just sign in with realtalkkim.com. And I mean, uh, you sign in with your email and your password and all the devotions every single morning, Monday through Friday. I give y'all devotions to help you get unstuck. So y'all ready to get into it? Y'all ready to get into it this morning? We're going to go from Psalms 5-3. I love you guys so much. I'm in a hurry a little bit this morning because I'm headed to an airplane right now. And I got to get into New York early because y'all's traffic stinks. So I got to get there early so I don't get stuck in the traffic. But I'll be at uh, 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 Jesus is Lord. And I got a lot of places I'm coming. I'm packed in March. So make sure y'all going to my website, realtalkkim.com, and finding out where I'm going to be and bring all your friends. Does Limitless Church have a children's ministry? God, we got the best children's ministry on the planet every Sunday. We have the greatest youth group every Sunday at the 1130 service. Both of our children and our youth are on the 1130 service. Yep. 1653 Highway 85 South, Fayetteville, Georgia, 30215. All right, today we're going to go from Psalms 5-3. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. 
In the morning, I lay my request before you and I wait expectantly. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. So here's what we're going to talk about today. What are you expecting? What are you expecting today? The way you start this morning, if y'all woke up this morning and you're screaming and yelling at your kids, your whole day is going to stink because you frame your morning. If you wake up and you're yelling at your husband and you're yelling at your wife, you are, listen, you are framing your day to be a stinky day and you are the CEO of your life. And it doesn't matter if you're walking through hell. It doesn't matter if you're walking through divorce. I know your, your daddy might have died. My daddy died. I still had to praise God in the middle of it. I had to learn to mourn and move. And so what you have to do is you've got to stop letting your circumstances dictate your joy. Okay, so today you're going to get up and you're going to realize this is the day that the Lord has made. It's easier said than done, Kim. How is it working for you being ticked off all day, every day over things that you cannot change? You got to make up in your mind today, God, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to trust you. I don't know how, how you're going to work this thing out, but I'm going to trust you. I, I'm going to court and I'm scared to death, but God, I'm going to trust you. I'm, I'm having to start all over again, but God, I trust you. My kid is trifling, but I'm going to trust you, right? I just got handed divorce papers, but I'm going to trust you. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills, but I'm going to trust you, right? It's hard grieving and moving. And Chrissy, I know that. It is so hard, but there's so many of you. you got to remember something. When a loved one dies... Right, the, the, the Bible says that when someone is born, you mourn because they're coming into this world. But when someone dies, you rejoice. You rejoice because they're in heaven. Your daddy, my daddy wouldn't want to come back. Your family wouldn't want to come back. I know that stinks, but we're, we're hurting and crying down here on earth. But they're up in heaven, getting heaven prepared for us. That's where we want to go, right? And so we have to get to a place where we learn how to, even if we feel like a turtle stuck in peanut butter, because the pain is so real. You still got to get up and move. Pull your big old thick thigh and move. Stop laying in bed, eating all your emotions, sad. Open your blinds in your house. Find you a community. Get in my RTK inner circle, right? This pain, and you know what really? People, uh, people get mad at me a lot of times because I'm like, get up, get up. Yeah, get up. Just get up, man, because laying in that bed is not doing anything. It's, it's just prolonging you in the process. And people are like, yeah, but it's like you're acting like my pain is imaginary. I don't think your pain's imaginary at all. The Bible says a rain falls on the just and the unjust, right? It, it, pain's going to come. Divorce is going to come. Sickness is going to come. Sadness is going to come. You're going to miss your mama every day. You're going to miss your daddy every day. But you've got to learn how to realize, I, my parents died or my husband died or my, or my whatever, but i got to get up to because I've got a legacy to carry out, right? Nobody is going to get you up but you, right? So you got to get up and you got to drag your leg, open your blinds, go outside, right? Do something. Don't let the things, don't let the things that you've walked through get in you. Like don't let the rut make you rot. You got to get up and praise your way out of it. You cannot let a season in your life define your lifetime. You got to get up and move, Right? It says, in the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait patiently. So here's, 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 here's what I was laying in bed thinking about. Our God, listen to this, y'all. Let me break this down for you. Our God is a God of suddenlies. Our God is a God of suddenlies, right? Suddenly, he breaks that addiction. He can do it. He can do it. When you get sick and tired of being stuck, he can do it. The only time that anything ever changes is when you get sick and tired of mulligugging over the thing you can't change, right? So uh, Illumini said, I wish I could do all that. You can. It's called get up and move, even when you don't know where you're going. See, if God is a God of suddenlies, he can break the addiction suddenly. He can, he can improve your health suddenly, right? Uh, you are given a promotion suddenly. When you keep your heart open, the Bible says that, listen, don't get weary in well-doing for in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. That means if you, you're going to reap if you faint not in due season. Due season ain't on the calendar. Due season is because you got back up again. You got back up again, right? You got back up again. And here's my next question. If you need a miracle, my question to you today is what are you doing to help in the miracle? What are you doing to help in the miracle? 
right? You can't lay on the couch depressed and say, God, I need to, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, but you're not doing nothing, right? It's hard to hear God. It's hard to hear God when you already know, already got made up in your mind what you want him to say. If God is a God of exceedingly abundantly more than we could ever ask or think, and you're living in a broke state, you got to ask yourself, what am I doing that is contributing to this, right? When you keep your heart open and expectant and filled with faith, God goes to work. In the same way Jesus turned the five loaves, he turned the, he turned a kid's lunch. He turned a, he turned a kid's lunch into a masterpiece. He took five loaves of bread and two fish and made it into five a, a lunch for 5000. He took he took five loaves of bread and two fish and made it a buffet line for 5000 people. But you 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 got to believe you got to say, I don't know what I'm doing. Y'all know how many times in my life that I've had to walk through things and I was scared to death and I just did it. God, you said you're a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I don't know what you're doing, but I trust you, right? So if Jesus, the same way Jesus turned the, the five loaves and two fish into lunch for 5,000 in Matthew 14 and 17, God will take your faith in him and turn it into provision. He'll turn it into the provision that you need. The enemy's goal, let me tell y'all what the enemy's goal is. The enemy's goal, okay, is to get you discouraged, to get you to quit, to get you to give up. That's what he's doing. That's his goal. His goal is to get you struggling with the fact you ain't got no money in the account, right? And it may be true. You may be in the red, but what are you doing to change that? Right? The enemy cannot take you out, so he wears you out. And he wears you out by making you look at what you've lost and how far you're gone. And oh my God, might as well just give up because there's no way out of this. That's a life in the pit of hell. Every time there was ever a miracle in the Bible, there was always movement. Every time there was ever a miracle in the Bible, there was always a problem first. Right? So the enemy's goal is to get you discouraged so that you will give up and settle where you are. But don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Don't throw in the towel. Don't get angry. Don't quit. Terry is 15 days sober. I am so proud of you, Terry. If the enemy can't take you out, he wears you out, right, Jazz? So no matter how many disappointments, y'all, that you've encountered, God can turn it around, right? In a split second. In a split second. Well, where's he at? Why ain't he done it yet? Because of that attitude. That attitude. That, 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 that defeating attitude of he ain't done it before. He, he hasn't done it before. He, he, he just, he, he's just, he's doing it for everybody but me. That attitude. There's no faith in that attitude. There's no faith in over here being ticked off because your life don't look like it's supposed to look, right? Every time you quit, every time you quit, you prolong the process of where you can't stand. Think about that. Every time you quit, every time you go back to that addiction, Every time you give up because you don't want to feel the pain, it's easier to drink yourself into oblivion every day. You're going to end up on the streets. You hear me? Because the enemy is like, you got a call of God. And everybody listen to me. Look at my eyeballs. You got the call of God on your life. It ain't over until God says it's over. You, as long as you've got a pulse, God's got a plan. And the only way that you're going to fail is if you quit trying. You hear me? So I don't care how many dif disappointments. I don't care how many disappointments you've encountered. God can turn things around for you in a split second. One touch of his favor can suddenly restore relationships. Yeah, now you're going to have a part to play in this. One touch of his goodness can solve that problem that you're facing today. One, one touch. God can instantly change your life. One touch. How? Because you decided to get up. That's my word for today. Get up. What are you waiting on? Who are you waiting on? Who, who? Huh? Pull yourself up. You got a pulse. God's got a plan. There's people that would, there is people that would do anything to have the problems you have. Dying on a hospital bed right now. Get up. There are 50,000 billion people in this world. There are 7.7 .7 billion people in this world. Why are you still crying over that person that walked out on you? Stop it. Get up today. Get up. Stop focusing on the people that don't like you and go find you a new tribe. Get up. Stop looking for... Stop. 
Stop looking at me. You're, you're all critical. A critical spirit brings forth poverty. How? Because everything out of your mouth is negative. You are framing your life by your words. You are turning molehills into mountains. You're telling God how big your mountains are when you need to be telling your mount, your, your, God how, your, your mountains how big your God is. Yes. Thank y'all for the badges. Thank y'all for the stars. So listen, we're going to pray. We're going to pray today. Y'all ready to pray? I got to go. I got a plan to catch. Lord, we just thank you today for your power, for your strength. God, we thank you today that where we're at is no surprise to you. We're going to talk to you about it. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk to you about it. We are not going to be under our circumstance. We're going to be over our circumstance. And today, Father, we just thank you that you are powerful, that you are mighty, that people might have walked out on us. Right? But you didn't. When people walked out, you walked in. And God, we are so thankful for your power. So, Lord, we break off that negative spirit. We break off that weariness. We break off that stress. We break it off today. We're not going to be stuck. We're not stuck. We're not stuck because we're not a tree. So, Lord, today, allow us to get up and walk out of our hell. Let us walk out of our misery. Let us realize that misery loves company, and usually they ain't nobody biased because nobody likes misery. Lord, give us the strength to get involved in my RTK inner circle. Find a great church like Limitless in their area to go to, to get plugged in. Let people get out of the feelings and into healing today, God. Let us realize that there's no money in misery and allow us to forgive today. God, just like we forgive, just like we forgive ourselves, let us forgive others. God, let us realize that as, as long as we walk around with daddy issues we'll, and, ne and we never forgive our daddy, then we'll always date our daddy. When we walk around never forgiving our mama, we always date people that seem like our mama. And when we walk around uh, uh, with unforgiveness in our hearts against our exes, we're going to date people that look just like our exes and act just like our exes. Allow us to heal today. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Y'all get anything today. We're free. You're free today. You are free, y'all. You are, you are free. You are whole. You are set apart. You are chosen. You are anointed. It ain't over because God said it ain't over. How do I know that? Because you ain't dead. Until you die, you still got a pulse. You have me? You, you, you hear me this morning? So what are you going to do? Every single time you want to get in your bed and cry, you're going to get up and praise your way through. Okay, YouTube? Okay, Facebook? Get up today. Stop waiting for somebody to get you up and get your butt up, right? You got two hands, two feet, get up. You can start over, yep. Well, I love you guys so much. I will see you in the morning. Uh, Inner Circle, I will see you tonight at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I will send out the link for our Zoom tonight. Um, go to my store, get all my merch. I got all the coolest merch. I, I, Y'all, I got the coolest clothes ever. I got so many amazing things. I drop stuff every day just about new clothes. Go to my realtalkkim.com shop. I got my books over there. All my books I wrote over there. Uh, I got glasses. I've got all kinds of stuff over there. And you can also sign up for my mentorship program, Real Talk Kim, RTK Inner Circle. Over there on my website, you can also join in on my podcast. I drop two a week. Just search, Google search, Real Talk Kim podcast, or go to my website, realtalkkim.com. Be a part of my world. Thank y'all for sharing this. Thank you for the badges. Instagram. Y'all are so good to me. Thank you, Facebook, for the stars. Thank you to all my supporters. I love y'all so, so much. For all of y'all in New York, anywhere in New York, get in your cars and drive. Thursday night, 7 o'clock, I'm, I'm telling you, how do you join the RTK Inner Circle? You go to realtalkkim.com and just look for the RTK Inner Circle. Punch it, sign up, and then go to Facebook private page and uh, make sure that you opt into the emails when you sign up because I send emails to my inner circle of, of information that's important. Um, and a lot of you don't get it because you opted out when you signed up. You can't do that because I send out very important information about Zooms, all kinds of stuff. So all the details for our inner circle, you can also DM me and I'll send all the information for that uh, inner circle as well. But just go to realtalkkim.com and sign up. 
I love you guys. Make sure you're reading your devotions every morning, Inner Circle. I love y'all. I love you, Limitless, so much. I love you, Inner Circle, so much. I love all of you on my social media platform. Have the best day ever, and I'm praying. Make sure you drop your, your, your prayer request, and my prayer team's on here right now praying, and I will see y'all in the morning. Love y'all. Love you guys so much. Kingston. 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 Hey. Hey, buddy. Love you. Love you guys. Love y'all so much.